I'm going to give a very brief introduction to statistical inference, uh, but it will cover pretty much all you need to know for this series. So let's get started. So statistical inference, again, concerns itself with a population. So this will be our population and a function of this population. So a specific function of this population. Uh, what do I mean by a function of the population? Well, a good function of interest in this case might be the average IQ. Um, another function might be the average height or the median IQ or anything of that matter. So some function of all the individuals of our population. It should give a number. The estimate of this function, this function's population parameter, will be theta. So this is what the average IQ will be. Um, and I can go ahead and give an example. So e.g. it might be 80 or, or something like that. So statistical inference involves us estimating what theta is. And we use what? We use a sample. We use a sample from the population in order to estimate what theta is. And generally it's a random sample. It's much smaller than the population. So typically what this sample will be used to do is it will be used to generate a theta hat. Theta hat, which is our best guess, our estimate as to what theta will be. So it's our estimate of what the average IQ of the population will be based on the sample. And so these will be roughly similar. It's our best guess. So for example, this might be uh, 79. So 79 might be our best guess based on the sample. A second thing that our sample can do and that statistical inference can help us do is it can make us a 90% confidence interval. So a 90% confidence interval. And so this is an interval that goes from some number q low uh, all the way to another number q high that has a 90% chance of containing the true population parameter. Uh, so in this case, it might be uh, e.g. Uh, from 75 all the way to 85. So 75 to 85. So we'd say if we had this random sample and we got a confidence interval as well as a uh, spot estimate, we'd say that, hey, there's a 90% chance that the true population's IQ is between 75 and 85 based on our random sample here. But our best estimate as to what the IQ would be is 79. So both of these things are done using statistical inference. So done using statistical inference. Again, uh, if you are interested in learning more about statistical inference, you can go ahead and, and click up here. Uh, this is a link for an entire series on statistical inference using the sort of same knowledge that you've got uh, right here. Uh, that being said, if you understand what statistical inference does here, uh, then that's pretty much good enough. Uh, the statistical inference tool that we'll be using throughout the series is called bootstrapping. And once, once again, there's a link in the top right uh, that you can check out. So how do we use statistical inference in order to solve our estimation problem in causal inference that we experienced last time? Let's see next.